Hello, hello, can anyone hear me? My name's Rebecca Garcia. I just got kidnapped. His name's Charles Albright. I just got kidnapped. I just found this phone and I need someone to know that I'm endangered. Please, please help me. I was just on the street and <laughs> he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. I was on the street and, and uh, I, I was like, whoring around. I'm sorry. Oh my God, please forgive me. And, and he just came up to me and he seemed like a regular person. He seemed so nice. <laughs> I thought he could become like a sugar daddy or something. I don't know. And then, and then we go into the truck, and then he takes me out to this field, and he like he started touching me, and and if someone told me to touch the parts on the doll, I would touch every single part. Uh, he was touching me. He was telling me that uh, yeah, he was married. He has a kid. And that they're not supposed to know. And I told them I would keep it a secret. And I promised I wouldn't tell anyone. Like, I don't understand why he's doing this to me. <laughs> and, then, and then he told me about his, like, past. And how, like, his mother would, like, always, like, be on him. Would, like, never leave him alone. Would be so protective of him. And, and, and it would make him dress up and, like dresses and everything and I told him he didn't have to wear a dress if he didn't want to and he would be like no but she forced me to wear them and she would just change my clothes all the time because she was a freaking germaphobe and I was like I'm sorry but I'm obviously not a germaphobe but I'm a prostitute but I don't really care just are you gonna like, keep on going <laughs> someone please send help I don't understand why he's doing this apparently he lied in college too like he was like super smart he's super smart and I, it's smart enough to kill me please help me and then and then, and then he like started touching me and then and then he pulled out a knife and like i'm used to like people pulling out knives on me because come on i'm a freaking prostitute but still and it was i was scared because we were in the field and no one was around and then and then, I, and then I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And he was like, I'm making you pay. And I was like, pay for what? You have to pay me. <laughs> and then, and then I ran to this field and then, and then I found this building and I'm in the building right now. And, and someone just please send help. Like, <laughs> like, I just don't understand. And, and. <laughs> Please find him. He was born in Amarillo, Texas. He was born in like 1983 or 1933. I don't freaking know. He's like 81 now and I'm so scared. Please help me. Please, please. He's apparently killed before and like he would take out their eyeballs and I'm so scared. Like my eyeballs aren't that pretty. I swear. Promise. Please. <laughs> Someone please help me. Please help me. Please help me. <laughs> you can't get away from me. Oh no, Miss Keisha dead. Hello, hello, can anyone? <laughs>